When you're in the market and you're out there looking for a gun belt, something that you can wear possibly for range time, something for duty use, something for SWAT use or military use, you a lot of times need something that's high quality, lightweight, and well-made. Recently, HRT Tactical reached out to us and asked us if we would like to review their new ARC belt that they just came out with. And let me tell you from the very beginning, this belt is flat out awesome. It is extremely lightweight, and I think that's really what sets us out from the rest of them. It does have molly, which goes all the way around the belt, which goes through this Tegris core, which is like a polymer woven strands that gives it some rigidity. On here right now, I have one fully loaded 30 round magazine for AR, and then two 17 round Glock mags that are fully loaded. And as you can see with the inner belt and the arc belt together, there's rigidity. And this belt itself is extremely lightweight. To compare it to you, I would say that this belt itself without the gear on it, weighs about half the amount of something like from Blue Alpha or really anybody else with the standard market belts that are out there with your inner belt and your outer belt that has a real thick Kondura and then a polymer core usually inside them that keeps the rigidity. But this belt is about half the weight of those and just as rigid. I, what I will say though, is when setting up this belt and putting all the attachments on here, it's a little bit more labor intensive. What I mean by that is when this belt comes to you, you're gonna get the inner core, which the inner core itself is actually curved. And the way it's curved is so it fits around your hips better and actually sits on your hips as opposed to just a straight all the way around belt, which is what most belts are. This one though, however, again is curved, so it allows for more comfort and also helps with load bearing. You got that, and then you have to put these sleeves on there. With the sleeves, when you put them on there, they actually have Velcro on the back sides of them. Okay, and with the Velcro on the back sides, that's what actually attaches to your inner belt. Then on the back of the belt, there is no Velcro. I wish the sleeves myself were a little bit longer. However, I haven't noticed any issues as far as for this belt actually staying put and where you want it to be. But when you get it all put together, you get your buckle put on there on both sides. It uses just a G-hook style buckle. You actually take the sleeve, you slide it into the, let's say you take the Tegris core and you slide it in. You also have no weak point on your belt either. And with that, being said, since there is no weak point, that helps with rigidity. And it also helps with this belt and it's lightweight. There's no Cobra buckle on here. I do like Cobra buckles a lot. They're very easy to use. However, the G-hook that this uses is also easy to use as well. And it saves you a lot of weight. Let's get into the truly labor intensive portions that I have to knock on. And the only reason I knock on it is because it was an incredible pain in the butt putting this belt together. The Tegra straps that are used to attach the ARC belt pouches are very lightweight. They're, extru they're, again, about half the weight of what you're used to for your simple Molly attachments. However, they are like a strap, a plastic strap that you have to thread through, go through each one of them if you're familiar with how you thread Molly, and attach it. You can do so. However, I had to use needle nose pliers and a flathead screwdriver, which Instruction manual wise, HRT did make a very great video themselves on YouTube, which you could check out and how to actually put this belt together. I'd used it myself, it made it a little bit easier. However, to get this belt set up, as you see it here, it took me almost an hour to get this set up. So that's two pouches and then an AR one, and then obviously put my slide in on my holster, okay? And then obviously getting the whole belt set up. So we're talking about an hour's worth of work to get this put together. A little bit longer than what you would normally get on a gun belt. Um, but it's extremely rigid. These fit very, very tight. There's no gaps in there with each one of these arc belt pouches. And these are also new from HRT. So you have a, let's say this is a Canton or 45 degree pouch here with a strap that allows that to happen. This can help in the front with reducing, you know, or getting more clearance with body armor. I got another one here, then I have an AR pouch on there too. You could throw a medical on the back. Again, this has Molly all the way around. And there's really only, let's say, if I was to give you an honest assessment here, you got about two inches of dead space on this belt. I usually wear about a 32 to 33 inch waistline. The belt I got here, this is gonna be a large size. I could have probably went down a size and made it fit just fine, but this one actually works well for me. And also with this inner belt, the Velcro that's on it, I can actually throw it over a jacket and wear it without going through my belt loop. So it actually works out really, really well for cold weather shooting, which we'll be getting here very soon here in the state of Ohio. Retention. When well, we're talking about retention here, which each one of these arc belt pouches, it seems very, very good. It's tight. They almost like snap in there to some extent, but there's no issues when you pull them out. And then what's nice, okay, 
Did you see it fell out, but you see how long I had to shake it? That is really good retention, okay? I don't want you to think that, oh, it fell out. I mean, I flat out shook that belt upside down with a 30 round magazine loaded to the brim. So that's a really, really good retention on there. And it's not so tight that when you go to pull it out, it gets stuck or you feel like you have to struggle with it. I have noticed that with some of the HSGI stuff is that it is very, very tight sometimes. And when you get in certain positions on your body, you have issues taking it out. So I'll end up doing some reloads and things like that today so you guys can see that in action. The ARC pistol belt pouches are actually capable of also holding 1911 magazines. These are two Metgar eight round mags loaded to the brim here. So we'll show you there is retention with that. So they can be used. Let's see. So they will start to fall out. Looks like a little bit of shake upside down, but like side to side and everything like that, they're not wobbling around in there. And the, re the overall, let's say, tightness in there feels good. I actually really do like that and how those actually go in there. So overall quality, design, everything like that with this belt seems really, really good. I really can't knock on it in that respect. The only legitimate, let's say, complaint I have is that this belt can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to put together. However, once you get it set up, this belt is extremely rigid, it's lightweight, and literally about half the weight of everything else I've ever used. As somebody that's worn a duty belt in a patrol car setting for 10 years of my career down to this point, I can tell you getting lightweight on a belt is extremely important. If you're in SWAT operations and you're wearing a helmet, and you're wearing your body armor, your plates, all your other gear, your med equipment, you know, let's say a camelback, whatever else it might be, anywhere you could save, let's say ounces, you should. It's a lot like backpack hunting. When you do that, you're trying just to save ounces because ounces turn into pounds over time. So really a sweet setup. Let's do some uh, reloads with this and see how it pans out. Dream big, boy, you're gonna make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road to take it. Let go of everything that you know and be wild in the mystery. I've been in the darkness for 40 days I've been searching for holy flames a sign to light up the way so can you help me out can you help me out certain of truth before I've been called a righteous man before yeah I've been closer to Jesus before so can you help me out oh can you help me out 